Hey there, this is Kevin from CD Baby, going to show you how to create an audio ad campaign using the new ad builder in show.co. So first thing you want to do is log into your account. And when you first log in, you'll be on your regular dashboard that has any campaigns you've run using the show.co marketing tool. But you just want to click over on the ad builder tab and now you'll be on the ad dashboard. So you can see uh, some ads that I've run or currently have running at the moment and we're going to just go here and create a new ad and we're going to create a spotify audio ad first so i'm going to hit create campaign and this will take you to the ad setup dashboard and we're going to go through the process of creating our ad so like i mentioned we're going to do a spotify ad so we're going to leave it checked on spotify you can do iheart as well um, you can't do them both at the same time. You have to choose one or the other. And so then the campaign name, this is just something that you want to call your campaign so you know what it is in the list of all the campaigns you have running. And I'm going to name this one Spotify Audio Ad Atlanta because we're going to target Atlanta. And it doesn't matter what you name the campaign. This is just for your benefits in order to help you find it um, when you're looking down the campaign list so you understand which ads are, are which. So uh, some tags. This is anything you want to put in there to help also you find the, the campaign. If you start running a whole lot of campaigns, this can be helpful. So I'm going to put Small Town Poets in there um, since that's what artist this is going to be. My band Small Town Poets. If I have multiple artists in the same account, that just helps me find the Small Town Poets campaigns. And I'm going to call this one Single Launch because it's going to focus on one of our singles titled Middle of a First Love. And the start date. So uh, for an audio ad, it needs, needs to be at least three days in the future from you know the day you're setting it up. So it allows time for it to be approved and to go live. And so that automatically, um, it's a Sunday when I'm setting this up. So Wednesday is the first available date to make that happen. So I'm gonna choose Wednesday and I'm gonna have it run through Monday, April 8th. The important thing about an audio ad, the minimum, the minimum bid price is $50, but for $50, you can't have a month-long campaign and get impressions. So if you're only going to spend $50, it's going to be like a three-day campaign the system will allow you to do. I'm going to put the budget in at $250 just to see what that does. And um, next, we're going to select the genre we're going to target. And um, our band falls in the uh, the Christian rock realm. So for this one, I'm going to select Christian. And then this one, uh, it I might lean actually more towards pop because the song I'm featuring is a little bit more pop rock. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure it gets to the pop side of things as well. So those are my genres. And now with this particular campaign, you're probably guessing from the title that I have there, we're just going to target Atlanta. It's um, very important that uh, that when you're targeting, that you target very specific, narrow as possible. You want to get narrow. You don't want to try and target the whole world, especially for $250. And if you're running a campaign for 50 bucks, I'd highly recommend you're just targeting a particular city and someplace specific. And you know, like if you're doing a tour, multiple cities, if your ads like featuring your tour, multiple cities is fine. Um, but the bigger your budget, the wider you can go with your targeting, but think narrow. You want to make a maximum impact and not just scatter shot all over the world. So hit next. So we've got all our targeting and such in there. Spotify um, requires an ad headline and it doesn't allow very many characters. And this really doesn't isn't that noticeable when the ad's running. So I'm just going to say hello, Atlanta. Thank you, autocorrect. And then the destination URL, this is where if someone clicks on the ad, this is where they're going to go. So we're in Spotify. The person's going to be listening in Spotify. And so the destination URL, you want it to be a Spotify URL. It can be a playlist, it could be an album, or it can be a song. I've already copied the URL. This is the URL to the song I'm featuring. 
So I went, just opened Spotify, found our song, copied the link and pasted it there. That's all you have to do. So now we're gonna upload the audio and I already have that already here. And so I've got my Atlanta audio ad. I'm gonna drag and drop that there and it's gonna upload. While that's uploading, a couple of key things. It's You absolutely have to have a voiceover. So don't just try and cut 30 seconds of a song in there. The ad's 30 seconds. It must have a voiceover. There's different strategies you can employ with that. You definitely want to call to action, whether it's to click on the link or to get tickets or whatever you're wanting people to do. But it's best to have a call to action. And when you're creating that audio ad, when the voiceover comes in, you want to duck the audio of the music that's playing in the background at least 20 dB below the, vo the, the voiceover. If you don't do that, it's gonna be really hard for people to hear. All right, now we're gonna drop in the image that I created and um, this is just something I created. That This is what shows on the screen for people listening to the Spotify on their desktop. It'll show them this while the ad is playing. So that's what they'll see. They'll see that, uh, that graphic and let's see, we'll preview the audio so you can hear what I did with my uh, voiceover and call to action. Hey Atlanta, this is Kevin from Small Town Poets. Atlanta is our home base and most of our music is written and recorded right here in the city. So nothing would make us happier than for you to take a listen to our latest single titled Middle of a First Love. You're already here on Spotify, so just click the link and enjoy. All right, so the audio sounds good. The image looks good. I've got to check the box saying that I'm confirming that my audio ad has a voiceover and a call to action. If it does not, your ad will be rejected and you will not be able to promote your music using this platform uh, with the audio ad. Has to have a call to action, has to have a voiceover, otherwise Spotify will reject it. It's also nice on the image to have a listen on Spotify or some sort of branding. If you just use a random photo, it can get rejected as well. It has to look like it's an ad for something. So I just took a picture of our band and created uh, this nice little graphic here. You don't have to be that fancy. It could be the album art with a listen on Spotify, or it can just be the album art, but some album art uh, you know, images might just look like a random photo to the person who's uh, deciding whether or not the ad is approved. So if it does that look that way, just put the band name, listen on Spotify. You can put some text on there. It's okay. If you have questions, we have help materials that can go in, into more detail about what works. But I'm happy with this, so I'm going to click Next. And I've uh, said that I'm going to pay 250 bucks for this ad. There's an audit fee. That's the for them to verify what I've uh, posted is legit and there's nothing you know that doesn't meet their user guidelines um, and now all I got to do is click that I've reviewed the content and I'm familiar with the terms of service and pay and publish and from this point my ad will be sent over to Spotify to be approved and once it is approved it will be live on the site for those days that I selected so now I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. So we've got the Spotify audio ad Atlanta there. And that's it. So my ad is, you can see the status is pending. It'll go live in a couple days on the third, which is, which is three days from now after it's approved and then it'll go live. And then you can come back right here to watch how it performs and check in on the stats and then if you want to create a new ad, you just click the new ad button and that's it.